I've had lots of people ask me how I got this magical IntelliSense in my terminal. It's actually an app called fig.io, so I'm going to tell you all about it. What's up, everyone? My name is James C. Quick, and I do weekly videos on web development related topics. I spent a lot working on tools, specifically with VS Code. And then I came across this one that was so cool, I had to share with you, and people have asked about it in all of my videos. So this is uh, a new terminal, uh, reimagined, or it's a, basically a plugin for your terminal. So you're reimagining your terminal to be basically VS Code style with autocomplete IntelliSense. And you can kind of see everything there is just on the video that's playing here, but I'll show you a little bit uh, hands-on demo in a second. But when you do CD, for example, it's gonna show you what the different options are for your folders. If you run uh, Git, it'll populate with what the different commands and stuff are. It's really, really cool. And it just works really well. Um, so I have had like no issues with this. It's worked great. Uh, the website looks great. It's just a cool product. I think it's worth checking out at fig.io. It's funny, I had actually recorded a version of this video earlier where I was offering free coupons, but now they've since gone out of private beta um, to now it's publicly available. So you can go and grab it, download for free for your Mac, Mac only, I think. All right, so let's uh, let's just take a look. Um, I'm actually in the some starter code for a planet scale project that I'm working on which is our next JS starter. So I'm kind of rebuilding that from scratch, but that's not super important. So let's start with the basics here. If I do uh, a CD inside of the current directory that I'm in, and let me, uh, let's just make this even bigger um, and we'll make the terminal be kind of the highlight here. So we'll just make this uh, pretty big. Now this is the terminal inside of VS Code, but it works the same inside of VS Code or not. So if I did a CD, it's gonna populate with the different options for the folders that I could go into. So lib, node modules, pages, Prisma, use this Next.js and Prisma. Uh, so that's kind of cool. So that's kind of basic. Like you're you're probably used to things having some sort of uh, IntelliSense for the folders that you can CD into. So what if we uh, what if we look at Git? If we type in Git into a space, now we have all the different uh, commands that we can run for Git and the documentation kind of right here as well. So if we look at pull, it has the, uh, in brackets, remote and branch. So it shows you like what's gonna follow this command, not just what the different commands are. And you can see that for branch and fetch and checkout and clone, which is pretty cool. Now, another thing, um, working at PlanetScale, again, this documentation is for PlanetScale OS demo, uh, there's a pscale CLI. Now, someone had mentioned inside of our internal Slack, hey, wouldn't it be nice if we had like IntelliSense uh, for the pscale CLI? Well, that comes with fig. And I, I couldn't even tell you honestly how it happens. Maybe there's, uh, maybe it just looks at uh, the P scale. Let's see, P scale help. Maybe it just looks at that for the different commands. Uh, maybe it's dash dash help. I don't even know. There we go. So maybe it just looks at that. I'm not actually sure to be honest, but if I do P scale and then space, now I can see all of the different commands that I could run for the P scale, the planet scale CLI. So this is really, really cool. It's really neat. Um, this is a short video to just show you a neat tool that you can add if you're on Mac to your terminal. It works really well. The IntelliSense is great and lots of people have been asking about it. So it's fig.io. Uh, you can go and check it out, download it for free. I'm curious, question for you, let me know in the comments below. Uh, what are some of your favorite tools that maybe I should check out and maybe do a video on? So let me know what those are. I'd love to check out new tools. That's one of my favorite things to do. I've got a couple more that I'm gonna create some videos on. So let me know in the comments below. I appreciate you checking out the video and I'll catch you in the next one.